Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to create an animatronic head. Um yeah, it's gonna be super scary. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so let's select um polygons from the menu and um I'm going to create a box with five to shade it and uh, let's select the top face and let's extrude this oops let's extrude it inside all right I'm going to uh, extrude this again and again all right let's um, add the eyes to this and to do that I'm going to insert a um, couple of loops alright one in the middle and uh, let's go to vertex mode and let's select these two vertices let's uh, chamfer this And I guess we can select these two faces. I'm going to make them a little bigger. All right, let's uh, extrude that. Let's delete those faces. And uh, if you press three, you can see the uh, preview for the uh, uh, if this was smooth. And uh, I think we should um, bring this a little higher. Delete that. And that looks more like already like an animatronic sort of thing. Let's create the nose. And this will be pretty much the same process. Let's uh, increase the amount of uh, polygons we're going to use. And I'm going to smooth this um, or preview it just to see what it's going to look like switch this to vertex mode close that over there make this smaller and I guess we could um, adjust some of these um, vertices oops Trying to um, not make it look like a dog as much as possible. All right. So there is our nose. Maybe I can bring it up a little higher. All right. So let's create the uh, bottom part of the mouth. Okay. So I'm going to uh, duplicate this here. Ctrl D duplicates shortcut and um, I guess we could uh, make this a little longer use my vertex tool to shape this into the jaw sort of thing I think that looks fine there so it just needs to be a little smaller uh, before that I guess I could hit insert and switch the uh, pivot point to around there so we can move the jaw okay uh, let's make this smaller let's see what this looks like uh, it looks like it needs to be a little wider okay or maybe it doesn't let's see That's not too bad. Okay, maybe a little wider here at the bottom. Go to the back here and maybe do the same thing here. And 
Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. Okay, let's add the nose. Uh, this too is going to be another box. Surprise, surprise. And uh, I guess we can add more detail to it. Alright, and I'm gonna switch this to um, smooth mode. And uh, I guess uh, we could do the same thing. Uh, vertex mode. Place the nodes. All right. Okay, so let's add the ears. Um, let's create another box. All right. Let's add more detail. And I'm gonna go to um, front view over here. Maybe more detail to this. All right. And let's shape this. A little different. All right, uh, I'm going to uh, preview a smooth mode by hitting um, three. There's one here over there. And clone this. And I guess we can rotate it. We could use uh, two cylinders uh, to connect those. They don't need to be super high mesh. A little smaller. Let's uh, rotate this. Clone it. And rotate it. Right. Uh, I guess I could line up these uh, two uh, cylinders with the ears. All right. Now let's add the teeth. Um, let's make a new box. All right. Let's add more detail to this. And uh, I'm going to hit three to for smooth view. And uh, let's begin with the top. Maybe they're a little too big. Let's 
set on the other side. Showing that too. Alright, so let's make the bedroom teeth. Alright, uh, I guess I could just clone one of these. Bring it down. Now let's position these well. Somewhere around there. Clone this. Alright. Uh, I don't know if we should put some here. Um, I'm gonna clone these two. And I guess I can move this one to the back. Right, and let's see. I'll probably clone those two. terrible let me see if we can adjust this a little bit I think that one needs to be rotated a little bit to the uh, left all right okay so here is our animatronic head and it looks not too bad all right uh, but if you render this, you're gonna notice that it looks terrible, all right? And the reason is because when you switch this back to uh, what it actually looks like, this is what it looks like. Super low polygon. This almost looks like one of the very first early uh, PlayStation games, all right? And uh, to fix this, you simply need to um, smooth this a little bit. Uh, I got mine set to... Uh, level of subdivisions to two so I'm going to smooth this and if I render now I get a more smooth look All right looks like I have a couple of uh, things sticking out here so I'm going to select my vertex tool and hide them away All right, so that's our animatronic head and uh, you can probably do a better job if you take your time um, in the next video we'll add some textures to this and maybe some lights okay so a quick note about Maya uh, you can actually get a free copy of the software at the Autodesk website uh, under a student license so fill out the form and um, yeah I start making your animatronics Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye now.